The main concept in Sketchless 3D is that you design with boards, organizing them into containers. Containers can be the project, that's the high level container, or assemblies within the container. Below the assembly level, you have doors or drawers. A door, and here's a drawer. There are three steps in Sketchless 3D. Insert, Size, and Locate. The size is the width of the object from edge to edge. In this case, the distance between the left edge and the right edge is 12. Location is the distance between the left edge of the object and the left edge of its container. In this case, that is 0 inches from the left, from the front, and from the bottom. In order to work in containers, you have to be at the proper level. I want to insert a board into this drawer, for example. I double-click that, come into the drawer level, and I'm all set. Now I can insert a board, and the next step is that of sizing. There are three tools for sizing. One of the red dots, I can right click that, change the size, like that. The other tool for sizing is the form, so I can change the width from 8 to 6 and click the button right and that becomes the new value. Or I can do these on the spreadsheet. Say the height is 4 and click the top column heading and 4 inches were taking off the top of that board. There are three tools for locating in Sketchless 3D. The first is the blue dot. Much the same as a red dot, if I hold down the shift key, I can drag this object anywhere, although with a lack of control. If I right click that blue dot, I can set its value for location exactly. 0, 35, and say OK, and you'll see that that's where it's located, this assembly. Like the red dots, I can use the form for location. If I wanted to move this 6 inches from the bottom, type in 6, click top, put that all the way to the left, type 0, click right, And the same for the front to back. Front is 12, back is located accordingly. Now there's another, if I go into the assembly level by double clicking it, the other way I can use the blue dots is to right click the blue dots, copy its value, right click this blue dot, paste its value, and you'll locate those two objects exactly together. Do that again. Copy and paste. Now these three containers all butt together. Next we'll consider what a board is in Sketchlist 3D. Insert a board into the assembly. Board can only go into the assembly or a door or a drawer. It can't go into a project. So the upper left hand corner I click the new board icon, give the board a name, pick the material
I'm going to enter the width of the board and its height and its depth or another word for the depth is the thickness in this case. Select the grain direction and click add board and that's the board. I'm going to go to the board and size it and I want to push that board to the back of the assembly. So I take the slider bar on the form and just push that back. Inserting another board be called bottom. I'm going to use cherry material. The width is 12. The height is 3 quarters because in this case it's going to be the thickness and the depth will be 12. I'm going to have the grain direction go that way. And again, to size that fully just grab that red dot and slide it over. The final board for this demonstration is going to be the side. Make it from that material. In this case the width is the thickness 3 quarters, height is 12, depth is 12, and the grain direction is going to go to the height and add that board and by default it's already in place. Using my ability to resize boards I'm going to use the shift red dot pull that in. Use this shift red dot pull that out and there are three boards inserted into our project.